Hey guys, this is Scott, and today we're going to look at how I set up my delay in the XFX2. Um, this is my general template. Um, changes here and there, but pretty much stock the way I like to roll. Um, my signal chain comes in through the input gate. This is pretty much my stock settings for that uh, with the guitars I use. And today I'm using my PRS Custom 22 with Seymour Duncan, JB, and Jazz humbuckers. Uh, everything grayed out is available, but not in the signal chain uh, currently. Coming into the way that I set up the Vox AC30 for the way I like it to sound, um, note my master volume trim setting. That's what I really like to work to get it to be where I need it to be. Um, the cabinet is a mix I've done of some own hammer um, IRs using their Elnico silver and blue and combinations of SM57 and Royer 121. That comes into the delay block, which is routed in serial. Um, out of that, we go into the reverb, which is in parallel to another line that comes out of the delay um, that doesn't get any reverb and that effectively puts the reverb in parallel to the guitar signal. Um, when we're out serial, it's a little bit simpler for people to comprehend normally because this is more where conventional guitar players uh, come from. It's easier to understand when you look at it. Uh, the level is at Unity. Uh, I use the mix control to set the ceiling of how much delay I can get. Um, the amount of actual delay that I use is determined on the input gain. I have that connected to an external expression pedal. I use Mission Engineering's pedals. I like them a lot. Um, if you watch the ball move up and down, that's me rocking it uh, with my foot. I can do this on the fly, uh, and I like it a lot. The only thing I've done here that's a little bit different, this is the stock curve as it will default in. I uh, lower the midpoint which gives me a softer curve and it allows me more to get more detail and get different uh, amount of subtlety in the delay I'm much more of a subtle player uh, my normal amount for delay is more along here unless I'm doing something like YouTube which needs a lot and then I'll ramp it up I'll leave the level up. Uh, you'll see the knob position update. The number won't, but uh, the knob will. So it's a little easier to hear. Um, this is a pretty stock settings uh, for a lot of how this works. I do run it in stereo. Um, I do a little bit of EQ. I high cut it at 8,000 instead of 10,000 on this particular type of delay that I prefer to run on this preset uh, with the Vox. These are all default settings. Um, I don't do anything in here. I do use tap tempo, so this gets grayed out. Um, my tap is set at uh, 1 8. By the way that I tap it in, I can do different things with the delay in real time. Um, like if I tap in quickly, I'll use the mouse to kind of give me that or I can go more for your uh, longer 80s kind of stuff And then what I can do is if uh, the tempo of a song picks up or drops back and I need to be my, my delays to be in sync, it's really easy to tap in and get whatever kind of delay I want and have it in sync with the music. Um, one thing I like about the Axe Effects is you don't just turn effects on and off. You can set controllers like this to 
controlled various behaviors of them and uh they're not like static that way they're more dynamic and it's interactive to play with them live um one nice thing that i'll kind of highlight is you give a x and a y state on each almost all the effects blocks um so actually there's two delays that i like on the uh, ac30 i like this 2290 most of my other presets um this is a matchless We'll come up with the stereo tape. Um, and on this, I don't really do anything different. Uh, it's a different sounding delay. The only thing I do that's kind of fun in here is listen what happens when you drop the value on this. There's a lot of really cool things. I normally I leave it closer to 95 just works for me. And then what you can do is per preset you can save the X or the Y state or you could assign your foot controller to actually switch between them on the fly if you wanted to. Um, and then using scenes you could switch the X and Y states um, too. There's a lot of different ways you can handle it. Um, I tend to think of it and keep it simple for me the way that I think. And I just set one up for each preset uh, that I like, and I roll with it that way. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't try to overcomplicate it. I don't have to get into any of the more esoteric kind of stuff. If you wanted to, you could. Uh, it's all there. I don't feel the need, so I don't do it. And that's pretty much it. So that's my tutorial on how I set up the delay. Uh, hopefully that's useful to you. Uh, if you feel the need to uh, contact me, you can email me, uh, private message me on the boards, or uh, just put a question or anything else you want in any of the threads on these videos, and uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.